Hello and welcome to the Elft Medication Safety Podcast. As you know, when we have a medication incident, um, an incident report uh, is made by a member of staff. And this is reported on what we call our Datex reporting system. Uh, one of the reasons we have this system is though, so that we can see themes emerging um, from various areas of the organisation and we can identify common errors and ways then that we can inform staff about how to help prevent them. From recent incident reports, we've noticed that medication errors are more likely to be made when the dose change section of the prescription chart is used, and you'll be able to see this on your screen now. Alan, could you tell us what types of errors are occurring? Yes, yeah, so a very typical problem is that a dose change is made to a prescription, but then the nurse continues to give medication at the old dose. Yeah. So, for instance, a prescriber changes a prescription from twice a day to once a day, but then the nurse continues to give it twice a day. Now, there might be a number of reasons why that happens. So, the prescriber might not have written the dose change clearly enough. They might not have crossed out the old dose. Um, or it might just be a case of the nurse not reading the prescription chart properly. And often it's actually a combination of those two things. So unclear prescriptions and then failure to read the prescription chart properly. Okay. Are there any other common problems occurring? Yes. Yeah, so another very common one is that... Um, Sometimes prescribers write prescriptions for future dates. So, for instance, they might want to give a medication twice a day for two days and then reduce the dose to once a day. But they write both of those doses together at the same time, so the twice a day and the once a day dose, right. but put a future date on the once a day dose. So aiming for it to be given two days in the future. Now, this seems to lead to mistakes because sometimes the people administering medication don't realise that the date on the prescription is actually in the future. So they give that second dose, in this case the once a day dose, before it's actually due. So giving it before the twice a day dose. So what can we do to help prevent this type of error occurring? Well, this type of error is one of those things that nurses always blame on doctors for not writing clearly enough and then the doctors blame on the nurses for not reading the prescription properly but I think there are things that both groups can do to avoid this type of error so prescribers really important that you write clearly and you clearly change doses when you do that cross out the old dose very clearly and then make sure that you write the new dose legibly and sign and date it can also be really helpful if the prescriber crosses out any administration boxes on the right hand side of the chart that are no longer needed. They could even potentially annotate on the administration section of the chart to say the dose has been changed. So really trying to make that communication about the dose change as clear as possible. Um, it might be a really good idea just to use future dated prescriptions when absolutely necessary as well. Mm -hmm. So try and avoid making them routine and just when you can't avoid it, really, to try and avoid these mistakes happening. Okay, so that's the prescribers. What about the nurses? What, what can nurses do? I would say the first thing that's important for nurses is that they open the entire prescription chart. So sometimes we know that a prescription might be cancelled on the right-hand side in the administration section of the chart, but not actually cancelled on the left of the chart. So they would miss that if they don't open the chart fully. So nurses open the chart fully, and then it's a matter of paying really close attention to the prescription. So check that date really carefully, and make sure that you pay particularly close attention to anything in the dose change section. Okay, thank you very much, Alan. And thank you very much, everybody, for watching.